name is Pastor Stephen Smith. I'm with Christian Leadership Partners. We provide leadership solutions for both profit and nonprofit organizations for coaching, teaching, and mentoring. What we want to do is we want to provide you with a free 30-day training program that helps you to look at the kings of Israel. Why would we do that? Well, there's three reasons, really. The first reason is, is that we can see good behavior and we can see bad behavior in the actions of these kings. And as we go through these opportunities, we can actually learn from them and make a difference in our own leadership skills and abilities and the way that we lead. The second reason is, is that we can also have a historical record of what good leadership provides and what bad leadership provides. We can actually go through an and look at the Word of God and we can see that it provides for us the results of their actions. So I can see that their planning, their preparation, their execution phases, and what they actually produced. If I can see those things, and I know that I can also apply those things to my own leadership development as I go along. The third thing that we wanna do is we wanna take a look at what servant leadership is truly all about, and we'll compare all of the kings that we've looked at for these past 30 days with Jesus Christ himself. So make sure that you look for the bonus five-day package that we're also offering for free so that you can see what true servant leadership looks like as modeled by Jesus Christ. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at Ammon. Now, Ammon was the son of Manasseh, who went out and sinned against the Lord and did all these terrible things that caused him to fail and caused the nation of Israel to fail, and yet he was still king for 55 years. We also saw that Manasseh repented, and when he did that, the Lord had pity on him and allowed him to live out his life and to actually do a pretty good job as a king after that point. But his son Ammon was totally different. His son Ammon took over, and he only reigned for two years and was killed by his own subjects. So you can see that he wasn't quite as good a leader as he probably could have been. And what we wanna to do today is specifically focus on how do we stop bad behavior and start good behavior. And we'll go with an acronym at the end of this teaching to help us understand how we can do that just a little bit better. But let's take a look at God's word and see what it says about the leadership of King Ammon. This is 2 Kings 21, 19 through 20. And it says, Ammon was 22 years old when he became king and he reigned in Jerusalem two years. He did what was evil in the Lord's sight, just as his father Manasseh had done. So this picture of Ammon tells us that he wasn't a very good king, and in fact, he only reigned for two years, and he did all the evil things that Manasseh ahead of him had done. You know, there are certain things that we wanna make sure that we can do as leaders, but they're not to follow the bad example of those ahead of us, even if they're our fathers or their relatives or however we see them. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we focus on that one thing, that we can stop the bad behavior, we can turn things around, and we can follow along with what we believe that the organization needs to become its most effective. Let's take a look at, at what else the Bible says about Ammon's leadership. 2 Kings 21, 21 and 22 says, he followed the example of his father, worshiping the same idols his father had worshiped. He abandoned the Lord, the God of his ancestors, and he refused to follow the Lord's ways. So again, this reiterates the fact that he followed the example of his father and he followed the bad example of his father. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that we find the good example and the people that we can role model. If you have somebody in your organization that is very successful and it could be somebody above you, it could even be somebody underneath you that you're developing and mentoring yourself. But if they have good attributes, we want to make sure that we can follow those attributes and make sure that we're, we're doing the good things that the organization needs rather than the bad things. Further on in this scripture, we can see how the Bible describes Ammon's leadership. This is 2 Chronicles 33, 23, and it says, But unlike his father, he did not humble himself before the Lord. Instead, Ammon sinned even more. So because of Ammon's sin, God continued to focus on his um, opportunities and the things that worked out for him. And in fact, nothing did work out for him because he didn't follow along with what God wanted him to do. He needed to stop his negative behavior and start focusing on something good so that his uh, leadership would, would last a little bit longer and so that he could have a more effective time with the nation of Judah. And so we, what we wanna do is we wanna see how we can actually do that. Let's take a look at an acronym called STOP and see how we can use that within our own lives. The S in STOP stands for Stop the Bad Behavior. What we want to do is we want to stop bad behavior before it begins. If I can look at this bad behavior and make sure that I'm not following along with it, continuing on, continuing making more and more mistakes, then I know that I can be more successful the moment that I begin stopping the bad behavior and starting the good behavior. The T in stop stands for think before you act. 
What we want to do is we want to make sure that we're thinking before we're acting, that we take the opportunity to think about the results of our stops and maybe even take a look three steps ahead and make sure that we can focus on those things and make sure that we're following along with where we need to be. Let's take a look at O and stop. O stands for opportunities for new behavior. What we want to do is make sure that we're looking forward to new opportunities where we can go out and we can accomplish more things in a positive way. If I look for positive ways to be able to reinforce not only myself, but my team and the organization, then I know that I can find these opportunities and make them come to pass as we move along. The P in STOP stands for pay attention to the environment. Why do I need to pay attention to the environment? Well, the environment will actually dictate our behavior. Just like a cell is affected by its environment and not by the things that are going on inside of it, we are the same way. So what we wanna do is we wanna take a look at the environment. If the environment elicits bad behavior, then we wanna get out of that environment and get into a good environment where we know that that's gonna support the behavior that we wanna be in. We also wanna make sure that we take this environment and we place our subordinates in that same environment. If I can do that, then I know that I can succeed where others have failed in the past. And then my team will be able to see that it needs to be able to adapt to the environment. And as it adapts, it's gonna start following along with the positive aspects of what we know that we can do. So let's take a look at some of the positive behaviors of Ammon and some of the negative behaviors of Ammon as a leader and see if there's something that we can learn from his, from his actions. So if I look at the leadership of Ammon, I can say, say to myself, what are some of the good things and what are some of the bad things? We can see that he didn't follow along with what his father had done as far as humbling himself before the Lord or turning his bad behavior around. So we know that Ammon had a very short lifetime and in fact, his, his actions as a leader caused his people to rebel against him and literally kill him. Now that might happen, not happen in your organization, but we wanna make sure that we can avoid those pitfalls where the people are stabbing us in the back or they're maybe not figuratively killing us, but what we really wanna do is make sure that we're following along with the leadership principles that enable us to be able to make these changes as we go along. So what we wanna do is we wanna ask ourselves two quick questions. The first question is this, how do you identify destructive behavior in your teams? What we wanna do is identify these negative behaviors and what they're doing in our teams cut it out and then start working on positive behaviors and replacing those behaviors. The second question that I have is this, what steps can be taken to change the bad behavior to good? So what we wanna do as leaders is identify this, this negative behavior, cut it out, and then start putting positive behavior attributes within our teams and our organizations so they can follow along with those. So what we wanna do is take these things and make sure that we can use these tools to become better leaders in our organizations. Don't forget to subscribe over here. And if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you won't miss any one of these. And remember, look forward in just a few days for the five day bonus package that we have that, that stresses servant leadership based on the leadership of Jesus Christ. But in the meantime, go out and make a difference in this world. Be the leader who you need to be.